Hey everyone, Misanthropy here from SpellsOfMagic.com. This is Misanthropy's Magic Corner, and today we're going to be discussing magic and lunar cycles. Now this will be a brief video, it's just an introduction to the cycles and their associations in magic. Um, I'll also go over some easy spells that you can do associated with the moon phases. So get your cauldron and spell books ready, let's get to it. So today, um, we're going to be discussing lunar phases, like I said. The first is the new moon. Now the new moon is a really good time to do some works of magic for new beginnings, fresh starts, growth and development. The next phase is the waxing moon. The waxing moon is the time when you see the moon start to get larger in the sky at night. Um, the waxing moon is a good time for drawing energies to you. So if you're wanting to draw love towards you, to, you know, to draw luck for finances or anything like that, the waxing moon is a good time for that. The full moon is considered an all-purpose um, time during the lunar phase, just because that's when the moon is at its peak and its energies are the most potent. Um, the waning moon is a good time for banishing or sending energies or people away from you. And the dark of the moon is a good time for curse work. Now, I know some people don't really care for cursing or curse work, but if you are one of those people that like to <laughs> dabble in that area, um, I personally consider the Dark of the Moon to be a perfect time for that. Now, keep in mind that you don't have to, you know, correspond your works of magic with the lunar cycles, but if you want to, you know, kind of align that energy with the moon and give it a little bit of a boost, it's perfectly okay to follow along with the cycles. Um, where's my candle? Here it is. So, I like to pair candle magic with my moon magic, just because I think the two pair so well together. Um, what I like to do is, if I'm doing a spell to draw energies to me, I will do a seven day candle spell starting on the cycle of the waxing moon and ending it on the night of the full moon. So I'll start it seven, day, seven days before the full moon, with the seventh and final day being on the full moon. And the idea is just being that you'll anoint your candle. Um, you'll charge it with your energy. Just focus on your goal or intent and, you know, use it to charge your candle. You can even um, carve words or phrases associated with your intent into the candle. And then as it burns down over those seven days, it will release that energy. You can do that for the waning moon as well. You would just do the same thing, but with the idea being that you're sending that energy away from you or sending that person away from you. Um, and I think that's where we'll end this video for today. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, as always, feel free to contact me on spellswithmagic.com. My inbox is always open to new members. And remember, stay magical.